a couple of weeks ago, running in to see uh, he won the, the Irish laurels. I knew he trapped well and he got out, and I said to myself, he's the hard bit done. But look, it was a competitive final, didn't take anything for granted, and three lengths covered the whole field at the end of it. Um, I knew it was fairly tight, but it worked out for us, thank God. And Brody's magic with two finishing very quickly. Oh my goodness, it looks to be close on the outside. Two with one and six, and they finished like trains. The lads were watching online up in the uh, county load, um, Mickey rang, but there was so much roaring and cheering going on, I couldn't hear him, we had to ring him back after on the way home. For my dad, he wasn't there. It was his first laurels he missed in a long time, so um, it was a bit emotional when we got home, no, to, to say the least. It, it was different this year when they couldn't travel, and it, it, if it was like old, they would have travelled in their droves um, down from County Loud, I'd say, to, to be with us on the night. You see the last two years when Rocky Way Foley won it um, for Cairn Lynch, it was, it was unbelievable, um, the excitement and the crowds there. Um, so it was very different this year, but look, we'll take it at the same time. The Cork people love to see a local winning, so it worked out for us on the night. We won the Oaks in 2011 with Droopy's Twirl, um, with a couple of lean years, and in uh, 2019, Brosh and Bonner won the Juvenile in Shelburne Park for us. So we've been hitting the crossbar a couple of times, so yeah, we're, we're happy. With my dad, there was always um, a couple of greyhounds here. We always bred a couple of bitches, and we used to bring them to the first race and try and win them and cash them in. And so there was always dogs here. We always had a feel for them. And, it continued then. I was a butcher by trade and when I was 25 I uh, took a change in path uh, due to health reasons and um, we started training a couple of dogs and it took off from there. How oh, we enjoy it and you meet some great characters and great friends along the way and um, I have two girls now and they're, they're, they're involved as well with us so we enjoy it. My dad uh, gives a, a hand every day there, he does his little bit and we all do a bit and I have cousins then, uh, Owen Holland, Cairn Welsh. Uh, Will Cogan, they all give us a great hand yeah. Ah, sure, look, you start the way in the morning and you're leaving them in and out and tidying up and then we head off galloping. I use Pat Coyley's gallop above with Pat, he's a great friend of ours. Um, we'll be tipping away, come back, getting the dinner ready and doing a bit of treatment and walking machine and you're trialling. We trial inside in Corrine Park, we trial uh, three days a week. Um, a great facility and great staff inside there. Actually, look, we have a couple of syndicates and we have a couple of individual owners that are here with us a long time. Um, we wouldn't have a big kennel, uh, so we might have about 12 owners altogether between syndicates and individuals. Uh, as I always say, the next day is a new day. Um, keep tapping away at a couple of winners and hopefully get into one or two more finals. And if you keep getting in, you might slip one in uh, eventually along the way. So keep going as we are. We've bred a couple of bitches ourselves here, Droopy's Harbour and Droopy's Alice. We bred her to our own dog there, uh, Droopy's Noah. So we're going to be looking forward to those coming, I know, shortly.